Thank you for coming back and joining me for lesson three about personal body safety. Remember, only you can help yourself stay safe. You can hope that other people will help you, but you are the boss. Everyone say with me that I can stay safe. Ready? Three, two, one. I can stay safe. It's important to remember that I in that sentence. You have to speak up and have a voice. And we've been covering things from safe touches to those unsafe touches. And today's going to get a little bit more serious. We're going to have a, a shorter, condensed um, presentation today for you because this does become a pretty silly topic for some kids where they giggle because they hear things like the word privates or private areas and they hee 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 giggle. Uh, but this is a serious topic. Now, remember, I, we've been repeating this statement every day. I am the boss of my body. I decide who can touch me, where, and when. So we're going to repeat that again. Everybody get ready. Straighten your backs. Stretch out a little bit. Hands in your laps. And you're going to repeat after me. Are you ready? Three, two, one. I am the boss of my body. I decide who can touch me, where, and when. This is so important. You get to decide if someone should touch you in a, in a certain spot. And that's where this topic today gets pretty serious. We've discussed that safe touch and that ouch touch. And now we're moving on to that private touch. Now, the reason that those two children in the private touch picture are in bathing suits is because that's a good way to know where your privates are. Your private parts are the parts of your body that are covered by a bathing suit. So boys, you can see, right? It's the, it's the, the swim trunks at the bottom. Girls, it's the top and the bottom. They are called private because they are not for anyone else. They are no one else's business. Now, at school, like at West Seaford, I know sometimes we have to have discussions about private parts because some students, especially boys that try to use the bathroom, have to use a stall because they sometimes don't know how to use a urinal without being safe and not showing their private parts. They don't do it on purpose. It happens because they have to be taught how to go use a stall where the door shuts. Girls, you know you have doors on your stalls or you have a door that would lock at a bathroom. That's to keep people away from that private area and, that, and seeing those private parts. It is very, very serious. They are only for you, and that is important to remember. Now, there's a little bit of a story, right? Sometimes your mom and your dad or a grandma or a grandpa or whoever takes care of you at home may need to help you clean. And you might go, well, sometimes they see my private parts. Well, there's an appropriate time and place. I know, for example, if I have a babysitter stay at my house, I would let the, my children know that the babysitter is not to bathe them or is it is okay to bathe them. It would decide if I feel safe with them. But my children also know that when a babysitter, for example, would give them a bath and it's not mom or dad, that there's a certain way they should or should not be washed or touched. And that would be important to then share with an adult that you would trust if you felt like it wasn't comfortable. So sometimes in a bathtub or a shower, you may need the assistance of an adult to help you. And that would be appropriate. Now, sometimes you might even go to a doctor. We discussed this on our first days that sometimes doctors have to examine or check private parts so that they know that you're healthy. Now that's okay, but there's something missing from this picture in the doctor's office. A parent or an adult should be present with you. The doctor should never be alone with you touching a private part. Your parent, a grandparent, an older sibling that had taken you to the doctor should always be present. And if you don't see them, then you need to ask them to be in the room and you need to ask that doctor to stop because they also know that that's the rules and what they should be following as well as adults. Now, private touches happen when someone touches a part of a private part that's covered, supposed to be covered by a bathing suit when you don't want them to, or they maybe they ask to touch you there, right? So there's two different ways that that could happen. Either they're touching you there and you didn't want it, or they're trying to ask you if they can touch you there. Now, asking you to touch you in those private areas are gonna make you maybe feel embarrassed or bashful, maybe confused or just gross and disgusted. Maybe it makes you feel uncomfortable and weird. Like, why would this be happening? Why would anybody want to do that? 
that's a good sign when you look at your feelings as to if that is okay or not. Now, these um, private touches, you need to know that it is against the law for someone to give you an ouch touch or a private touch, especially if you're an adult and you're, um, if I was, an, if I'm, a, I am an adult, if I'm an adult and I um, use an ouch touch on a child, that's definitely against the law. Now at school, we use consequences like referrals if there's an ouch touch. It's kind of like, that's the rule, it's a law. Private touches for sure. If you share with a staff member, Many of you have met with Mr. Forsen as a school counselor. There's some situations we always keep private and there's some that can't. If you tell me that someone's hurting you, I cannot keep it a secret. If you tell me you're gonna hurt someone else, I cannot keep it a secret. And if you tell me that someone's hurting you, touching you in an unsafe way, I have to tell someone, okay? So they are laws that tell us that we have to do that. So as we discuss our private touches, this is an important time to reflect and think, okay, whenever I'm around other people, the areas that would be covered by a bathing suit are never to be shown. Thank you for joining me for lesson three. Come back again for lesson four.